I am going to show you how to make a really interesting peanut salsa. Now, most people don't even think about peanuts being in a salsa, but throughout Mexico, there's a common pairing between peanuts and chili eyeballs. And it adds a really nice deep flavor, a nice chunky texture, and it goes well with vegetarian tacos, it goes well with steak tacos, and I've even heard of places putting it on fish tacos. So here we are. I'm gonna put a pan, a little bit of oil. We're gonna sweat some garlic and onions. Awesome. Gonna bring that down, caramelize it till they're translucent, and then I'll go over what all the ingredients are here. We have cumin and oregano. We have cider vinegar, white vinegar, lime juice, chili arbol, which are gonna bring a nutty, spicy flavor to it, guajillas, which are gonna kind of thicken the texture, give it a darker color, and also add a little bit of a raisin flavor. And then we have fresh, unsalted roasted peanuts, which we're actually gonna to toast as well. So in a second pan, I'm gonna heat it up. Be very careful that you don't burn peanuts because they're nasty and very acrid. You're also gonna to toast the chilies, and again, be careful with that because you are not gonna to wanna to burn those or it's gonna be very bitter. Put them in the pan, just keep them moving. Here we have this onion-garlic combination. Awesome. All right. It's working right there. We have our blender, we can go ahead, grab these chilies here. Just gonna add them to this mix. That way you don't have to have three different pans going at once kind of share it. I'm gonna add the spices to the onions now because when you heat it up, it'll bloom. They're dry spices. All right, so I'm going to add our ingredients starting with the onions and chilies first because the peanuts can sometimes give your blender a hard time and we don't want that. We want this to be an easy recipe for you. So I'm gonna try and make all this in here. There's a little bit of oil and onion juice here, which is fine. It's going to actually help us blend this up. And we also have the spices in here. Beautiful. All right. Here we have our peanuts, which are toasted. Put that here. All right. Salt, always. I cannot tell you enough. Always add a little bit of salt. Put a little lime juice in here. All right. So let's puree this to a nice smooth consistency and we can thicken it up with the peanuts. Just be patient, she's working hard. There we go. You're gonna see the color just changes instantly. It's gonna get to a nice reddish orange. There we go. Chunky is okay. It adds a lot of character and a rustic sense to your salsa here. All right, so it looks like we got through the hard part. Take this off. Be gentle here. There we go. You'll see it'll start to slow down a little bit because it's peanuts, but that's okay. It does need to be perfectly smooth. A Little bit of water will help. Just don't do too much. There we go. Just enough to bring it back. A Little bit of vinegar. Awesome, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And then we're gonna stop here. And now we're gonna do a little taste test. See if we need to add more salt or acid. All right. It's a nice, thick, beautiful yellow color. Again, I don't like following recipes. They're just a guideline. It's awesome. Doesn't need anything. So here you have a nice, chunky salsa. You can see the red chilies. You can see some of the whole peanuts and the chili seeds. It's got nice spice, nice acid. It's ready to go on a tofu taco, steak taco, you name it. And this is how you make an all-star peanut salsa.